This is a Dell Optiplex 3040 Micro that I bought on eBay for $32.09 with shipping and taxes included. The main reason it was so cheap is because the seller gets computers from businesses that have recently upgraded to newer computers and resell them as cheaply after data sanitation. They simply don't have the time or manpower to install an operating system on hundreds of computers and definitely don't have time to test them to make sure that everything on them works properly. So that being said, buying from a seller like this can be risky as they do not know all of the issues the computer may or may not have and some have a zero return policy. Regardless of what happens, I'll review this computer anyways. I'll start by opening this computer up and we'll see what's inside. I can already see that it didn't come with an SSD, despite the description mentioning it coming with one. I did kind of expect this since it's rare for computers to keep their old drives after data sanitation because businesses feel safer having the old drives destroyed in order to make sure that none of their data can be retrieved. Fortunately, I do have several extra SSDs. I can also see that the Wi-Fi card slot is empty, although many desktops don't come with Wi-Fi when they are new, so that's to be expected. The fan duct system can be unclipped quite easily. For now, I will just lay this to the side without unplugging the wires. I can see that there is one stick of RAM, and it's an 8GB module. I'm surprised that this is DDR3 RAM. I thought that it would be DDR4 since the specs for the CPU say it works with DDR4, but I guess Dell just hadn't upgraded their motherboards that year. I will be upgrading the RAM to dual 8 gigabyte modules since it's better to run dual RAM channels than single channel. Also, something to keep in mind is the small form factor PC3L version of DDR3, which is the smaller low voltage version. If you plan to upgrade this particular model, you need to make sure you get the PC3L version. Now time to install an SSD. I will be using a 128 gigabyte Transcend SSD. I'm not entirely sure how great of an SSD this is, but I bought it used for cheap, and it should be at least better than a mechanical hard drive. The CPU is the i3-6300T. This may not seem like a great processor, and it isn't. However, I was specifically looking for a micro PC with this particular processor because it has Intel HD 530 graphics, which supports 4K output. Also, it's an i3, so it's not too difficult to find one for cheap. This i3 is not the worst CPU you could buy for the 3040 micro PC. There were even lower end Pentium and Celeron models you could get as well. There is even the Dell WIS E3040, which has an Atom processor and can only support a maximum of two gigabytes of RAM. One use for this mini PC I intend to explore is using it as a media PC, which will be plugged into a 4K TV. I like to use my wireless ThinkPad keyboard and use the red track point in the middle as a mouse. However, if you're the type that prefers a touchpad, there are other wireless keyboards you could get. When I first started using the mini PC with my TV, I noticed that the input seemed kind of laggy. I soon realized that the maximum output frequency was 30 Hertz. Also, watching a 4K video would often result in long pauses. Minecraft was not very playable, with a lot of input lag and choppy video. I realized the problem was that I had the TV plugged into the HDMI port, which was HDMI 1.4 which has a maximum of 30 Hertz output at a 4K resolution. To fix this, I got a DisplayPort to HDMI cable that would allow me to use the faster DisplayPort on the computer so that I could output at 60 Hertz. After using this cable, I was able to set the resolution to 4K, 
and a 60 hertz frequency was now an option. Now I can watch a video at a 4K resolution. Well, just sort of. Sometimes the video runs smoothly, while other times the video stutters. I know it's not the internet speed because when I tested it, it was over 400 megabits per second. Minecraft seemed a little bit smoother, but there was still terrible input lag where movement would take about a whole second to respond. And really, that's about what I expected. The dual core i3 just simply isn't powerful enough to keep up with a smooth 4K output, but this computer can still work smoothly with my 4K TV. All I need to do is reduce my resolution down to 1080p, and it's like a whole new computer. Videos run perfectly smoothly without any stutter, and Minecraft runs pretty smoothly and fast as well. Sure, you aren't able to watch a movie at full resolution with the mini PC, but Many modern 4K TVs already have built-in streaming that can play at 4K. Some people would only use their televisions for watching movies and shows, and if that's the case, then you really don't need a PC for media. However, some people might want the ability to do other activities on their TV that a streaming device simply can't perform. If you aren't looking to get the cheap mini PC, there are other newer ones that you can get if you don't mind spending the extra cash. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a good dinner.